Alright, another one. So! I'm drinking my smoothie, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Oh. Yeah, sure. Um. This is a review for Godzilla vs. Kong. I'll just say it right now, it is not better than King of the Monsters. It's really not. In some aspects. Uh, some. 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 Some, which we will point out, but for the whole of it, no. 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 Alright, are we going to talk about spoilers or just like... I think we uh, should. Uh, just because it wasn't the movie we were expecting. Just because of that. Alright. If it were any other movie we watched up to so far... We would be really careful. Yeah. But... We were... Well, I mean, I was... Okay. Let's just say... Let's just get the the elephant question, whatever the fuck's angle. Um, let's point the elephant in the room. There we go, yeah. Mecha Godzilla is in this. Fuck you. Mecha Godzilla is in this movie. Now, apparently, he was revealed in one of the trailers. Which we did not watch. Which I, at least I did not watch. <laughs> I didn't either. The I reason didn't. I don't watch trailers is because if they, I watch a trailer, I want to do a reaction. Movie. I feel like trailers, the, now, trailers nowadays. I if it's more than one trailer being re, like released for a movie, whether it be marketing or whatever, it, it has a high percentage of ruining the film. Yeah, and I don't... I don't which like, is probably what that, that did. That's mm-hmm. why I only saw the, the first one, which is the one I reacted to. That's it. That's the only one I saw. Now, I don't know in which trailer Mechagodzilla is spoiled or teased, whatever, or leaked. I don't fucking know. I, I don't think it's in the one that I reacted to. Have you seen like that exact I saw, trailer? I saw it. I don't think it's that one. I think it's either the second or third one that came out. Uh, but it's definitely... It's not like it's a major reveal, but if you know what you're looking for. Yeah. And you and I would... Uh, you can actually see his, um, I guess, fins, his metal fins. Like his spinal cord? Yeah, his, yeah. you know, and you know who that is. Yeah. Another thing that I like, now that we touched on Mecca, they changed the background story. The origin story? Yeah. Now, how many classic Mecha Godzilla movies are there? Like three? Three. It's Godzilla. I didn't, I've never seen the first one. I've only seen the, the one where he comes back and like the last one. The first one is they built him supposedly to fight because, you know... Fucking Godzilla uses uh, Hong Kong as a personal playground. What you mean, Tokyo? Well, Tokyo. Pretty much all of Japan. Like any... Hong Kong isn't even in Japan. Oh, I'm sorry. You fuck. I, eh. Fucking retard. All right. Not the point. Point is, the man uses that place as his own personal playground. He gets bored. He's like, fuck it. I haven't fucked you guys today, so let's do that. Japanese man is like, you know what? We're tired of this shit. We're tired of, you know, firing missiles and the, our armies and it's just not doing shit. So, they uh, find the bone or the remains of the first Godzilla, which they apparently, I don't, I don't remember what they did. It's a bomb and it, like, destroyed them, whatever. Yeah. They use those bones to build around the make them Mega Godzilla, whatever. So, they use the entire skeleton? Yeah. And, uh, or from what I remember... I'm not 100% sure somebody can probably correct me. Um, but yeah, so they do that. And then that game gives him the ability to think for himself. Sort of like... So yeah. he turns on the government. And he tries to kill Godzilla because... <coughs> like Highlander, they can only be one. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. I mean, because I didn't know the origin story of Godzilla, I'm not really as affected as you are with that. So... Of Mecha Godzilla, I mean. Honestly, so, the only reason I'm a fan of Godzilla is because one of my friends back in like elementary school, Gilbert, um, he's like a super fan. Said I'm on my way. I said, like how I am with Star Wars, he's with Godzilla. He has all the mo- all the original movies on VHS. Oh shit! All of them and figures and games and pretty much you and Star Wars, yeah. And uh, that's why he got me into it. He um, he's the one that sh- kind of like you with Star Wars. They kind of you know started me, and then I was just like, "Fuck it, I'll, I'll jump in." Mm. But yeah, um, no. Um, other than that, uh, I don't like the script. I don't. The know. writing is it, fucking. It, it's ass. It's it's terrible. It's, it's not ter- okay. It's, it's not terrible. A- it's ass. It's, it's, it's ass. ass. It's good in some parts. Like and it's not even the. A- <laughs> I'm voy a sonar muy machista, wey. Y lo siento, but 
no es un culito que te quieras coger, güey. O sea, es un culo que te da asco, cabrón. O sea, lo miras y no dices, ay, güey, me echaría un pinche palo chingón, güey. Lo ves y dices, llévale a la verga, chingas a tu madre. Es el culo de la señora que te vende las quecas, güey. En rancho, ya tipo pueblo, carretera, tierra, güey. Que tiene aquí el pinche... Ya, yeah, güey, ya no seas mamón, ya. Yeah. I don't want to fucking picture that. I know what you're saying. Parece miel, güey, o sea, como sí, escurridito wey, sí, así. Sí, 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 güey. Sí, bueno, así. Pero sí, como mejor. Así. Like, sí, güey, I, I get it, pero like... Que ni siquiera su marido se la quiere coger, güey. That's fucking... The script is ass. Let's just say that. I mean, I don't even know where to start with, with the script. For. There's nowhere to start. The only thing that made it good or passable, I would say, would be the fight scenes, the special effects, which, you kiss, like, I feel like those guys were like, they read the script and they're like, yeah, we're going to have to put a we're lot gonna, yeah, of we're, fucking we're gonna, balls into yep. this. We're going to have to overcompensate because these fuckers can't write a good script. Because, like, from the beginning, I don't know if you noticed, like, if you realized it right away when you were watching it, I kind of did, but he wasn't in Skull Island when the movie started. He's in that little Monarch containment unit. No, I didn't notice that. I only noticed that until he fucking threw the tree. And yeah. Like, what the fuck? And then they say what happened, that a giant fucking storm happened. And mm hmm So, I'm just like, uh, I mean. So, do you think the sequel to Kong Skull Island is going to be. Him going in, like. Yeah, like him losing his home in the storm and shit probably, like that. Probably, probably, because if you watch the original movies, they go from, like, the very, like the ones we <coughs> did, where, you know, the chick and the island, and then they kidnap and bring him to the city. And then the other one is, like, Kong lives, where he's in the fucking hospital, and they find a female for him. It, which was the one where he's like trapped in a silo? Wasn't that Revenge of Khan or something like that? In a silo? Yeah. Like no, the, that's Khan lives. Oh, that's, yeah, that's Khan lives, uh, and it's not him. It's a. Uh, it's his just, wife. It's his wife. It's Mrs. Khan. Which was the one where he's like raising his son then? Kong Jr. or King Kong Jr. or something like that? The son of Khan. There we go. That one. Yeah. Uh, that that's one was a, fucking terrible. Yeah, that's like. <laughs> but no, um, he um. Uh, And believe it or not, I'm a big fan of Kong, too. I, I've been a fan of Kong since I was a little kid, dude. Since I first watched... I'm not gonna lie. I've, I've been a fan of Kong since I saw the Peter Jackson movie. That movie's fucking awesome. Is that the one with Black... Ed? With Jack Black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That movie no, is I watched, fucking I watched the ones, uh, like, back in the day. Like, I saw those, but, like, I didn't really... Eh, I didn't really give too much yeah, of a fuck. And the only reason I'm a big fan, dude, is because I always picture myself having a giant monkey as a pet. I thought you were going to say, I uh, picture myself as Kong, because you're hairy enough to be him. I mean, yeah, but back then I was a little kid. I didn't have hair. So my... You were dark enough to be him back then. Ah, yeah, I was. I was a kid. Well, but then again, I was... Is always... that a racist joke? No, not really, because I was always under the sun. Okay. Like, in Mexico, you only have two options. You're either out in the sun or you're bored as fuck. <laughs> um, no, Touché. but... But, um... I don't know. I always picture myself having a giant monkey as a pet. I don't know what the fuck I was going to feed it. But, you know, yeah, and so I, I was really, I was really hyped about this one. I was, like, counting down the days for this me movie. Me too, for me too. And then I saw it, and I'm like, uh, 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 was not worth the wait. It was not worth the wait. I like the fighting sequences. They're, they're the, easily the best part of the film. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I, the reason I think that there's so many fucking fight scenes in this movie is because in in my opinion King of the Monsters didn't have enough no it, it only had when they fought in Antarctica and when it was like a complete fucking like a gang warfare where everyone was fighting Rodan yeah fucking, everyone. everyone was kicking each other that did, that's the only two fight scenes I remember there could have been more but they weren't that memorable and this one when they first fight in the ocean when um When Kong beats the fuck out of those flying bat-looking motherfuckers in Hollow Earth. Snakes. Yeah. You know what they reminded me of? Mm -hmm. Quetzalcoatl. 
But like with right, right, they were like feathered. But like the only thing I'm like, no, nah, that's not him because this motherfucker doesn't have bat wings. And yeah, shit. and because uh, it has like feathers that, right on the neck and that shit. That shit made me laugh because that motherfucker not only did he kill both of them, but at the very end he's just he's like just eating one of like, them. He's just like having the time of his Fuck life. It. And the lady just reacts like, ew. Yep. And what do you expect? He's a monkey. Oh, yeah, now that you mention her, bro, her character pissed me off. Like, no, okay. Niña Fresa. Niña papi, Fresa, people, yeah. Papi the, the thing, okay, we're, we're talking about, what the fuck was her name, Maya Simmons? Yeah, something like that. No, she's played by Isa Gonzalez, which is, she's fucking beautiful. She is. She's a Mexican actress. You would not think she's Mexican when you hear her speak English, because she speaks English perfectly. Without an accent, yeah. Yep. Uh, her dad is played by the incredibly talented... Uh, Damian Bichi, which is also a Mexican actor. I first I first saw him act in Weeds when he plays the mayor of Mexico or Mexican City turned drug cartel member. I, I didn't like him in this movie. I don't either. I did not either. He sounded like such an ass. Like, I feel that he actually did want to do some good shit, but like... He his... was... Okay, I know, I'm, I'm, I, I know you hate me saying this, and I get it, but I said it before. It remind me of Trump. He oh. had he had great ideas. He just did it in execution. Terrible one. execution. Yeah. Terrible yeah, executions. Yeah. Not only that, piss me off. I hate the guy. In this movie, I hate him. I know he's the worst bad guy ever. I just wanted to hear the last part of the speech. They robbed me. Oh of that. yeah, just just like the black guy for real. For real. He's he even cool. he literally says what we were thinking. Man, I really wanted to hear the end. He was doing great. He, I was like, oh my god. Okay. And then you see Mecha Godzilla turn. Just I'm like, oh suck. fuck, he's gonna he's gonna interrupt them. But like, they really did rob us of that. Like, yeah, this motherfucker literally said what we were thinking. I I really wanted to hear the ending to the speech. Like it was. <clears throat> Like, yeah. I feel that if you would have finished his speech, it would have, like, Could placed be. him as a fucking villain. Yeah. It would have been a solid yeah. villain moment. Yep. Um. Let's talk about the axe. Okay, no, no, wait. One more thing before we move on to the axe. One thing that I that really fucking got to me, and it has to do with the writing somewhat. How the fuck can a fiction writer pilot... A super secretive aircraft that he's only been in once. Did you notice that? Holy fuck. <laughs> Did, he... Did you fucking notice no, that? No, 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 now that you mention it. What the fuck? <laughs> How in the... Uh, lazy. I, I saw that, I'm like, Holy, hold the fuck on. I don't remember seeing them taking a fucking crash course. I don't even think they had one. No, no, because... um, Like, you don't see them until they're about to take off. And I'm guessing if he did have a crash course... It's off screen? It was off screen, but they could have at least referenced that he had a crash course yeah, to explain him fucking piloting in it. Not only that, but how did he know to overload the things to give Kong that... I don't know. All he went off of was a compound Las Vegas for a whole week. No, I, I don't think he overloaded. I think he blew up the ship. And that in turn caused the fucking thing to like explode. Leave, like... Um, Causing like an EMP, so to speak. I guess because that's the only that's the only fucking logic I can think I, of. I don't know. The point is, he shocked the giant monkey without having any sort of experience with that aircraft. Which Crazy writing. Not only that, but but back on the topic of La Niña Fresa, for, yeah, she she she, uh, she booked the fuck out of me. Like you know, her character is gonna be a piece of shit when not even her introduction is that good. She just appears on the fucking ferry. Oh, my dad sent me. Really, bitch? Línea de Niña Fresa. Me mandó mi papi. My dad sent me. Like, really? That's Not only that, but she's like, whatever my dad wants, he gets. Ah, that pissed me off, too. I'm like, oh, god damn it. They had to have a fucking spoiled breath. I love the way she died, though. Like, you saw how Khan looked inside to see if the little girl was in there. She's like, no, fuck you. I love that scene. I have, I have a feeling in the back of his mind, he's like, okay, well, I'm pretty sure if she's in there, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to let him go. As soon as he's like, he sees the little girl not in there. Bye, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Not a lie, though. I like that scene where Kong is sitting in his throne, though. Oh, I look bad. He looked. He looked fucking awesome. 
He looks badass in that scene. Like, I wish they would have got. I'm hoping in this in his <coughs> solo movie they go a little bit more in depth with the whole myth, because by the look of the palace, a little bit you get li- somebody carved those monkeys. Yeah. Somebody made that door. You're not thinking humans made it, right? No, I don't think humans made it, but somebody had to make it. It's not like the monkeys are just going to one day be like... We own this now. Yeah, like, let's make a throne room. Because, let's be honest, it was a fucking throne room. Yeah, it really was. Like, they, they, okay, look, I have another thing I want to say. Um, don't get me wrong. I know that they need a few actors, a few top, like, A-list actors to sell the movie. But... Just once, I want to get a MonsterVerse movie without any fucking humans. Like, you know how it, fir- uh, you know how it first started with, like, yeah. Kong and his daily routine? I'm like, oh, shit. We're going to get a few minutes of just them fucking fighting each other. And even though we did see the little girl, I, I don't consider that because, like, they're from the same island. That's They're, like, the only thing they each have of each other that connects them to that island. So I really don't count her as, like, being a... Uh, subplot device for the humans, but um, the fucking talking dude, like shit that we have no care for. We, we there, there was way too much fuck. Okay, look, there was so much exposition, and then like you said, everything was too convenient. But I'll give the writing one prop. I like that they're adding lore to the Titan Wars. Now the next film I want to see. Is during the place. It's like during the time of the Titan Wars. Because they just mention it and just fucking throw it away. They say, oh, their ancestors were at war f- for a long fucking time. The only thing I want to know is why. Like, what possessed the Kongs and the Zillas to go to each other's... Like, one is, has the domain of the ocean. Mm-hmm. The other one has Skull Island. I don't remember seeing an ocean in the Hollow Earth, do you? There has to be water. I mean, there's crabs, so probably... Yeah, yeah, there has to be water. Oh, speaking of the crabs, is it me or did the thing that ate the crab look a lot like a young Godzilla? Kind of, yeah. Right? When I saw that, I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, but then again, it could be one of those distant relatives that looks a lot like them, but it's not really them. Probably. Because from, <coughs> from what I understood from watching Skull Island and watching Godzilla is that they're the last two of their kind. Hmm. So, Kong is pretty much, that's it. If Kong dies, there's no... His, his species is extinct. Yeah. That's probably now, why they didn't kill him, though, in this one. Now, if they're going to do what I, I hope they're going to do, which is introduce a female Kong... How the fuck are they going to explain that? They didn't explain it in the old school movies. She just happened to be there. The guy just happened to find her. And let's, let's be honest. It could happen if part of the Kong family tree didn't go... Up to Skull Island. Remember, they originate from from Hollow Earth. From Hollow Earth. That's like their kingdom. Plan. Yeah. And Godzilla's was like the surface. Of yeah. So. So is that why they fight? No, no, that's not be why they fight because they're wars for like generations. So what I want to know is how the fuck did Godzilla's race end up in Hollow Earth? I guess swimming around. Eventually, you find a tunnel, and you know, lizard instinct. They say probably. Yeah. Uh, not only that, don't forget, they're alf- both of them are alphas, and there can only be one. Yeah. So, I'm guessing somebody eventually trespassed on the other's terrain, and it was like, you know what? No. I'm pretty sure that's ultimately what it is. It's just gang warfare. Yeah. But, hopefully they introduce an- another Kong so that, you know, Kong will live. I know they're going to find a way to breed Godzilla, too. Like, like, um... Jurassic Park style cloning or some shit like that. Like I, I don't know. Like they could, they could do whatever the fuck they want. Like, I, I it's a lot. It's up in the air when it yeah. comes to that. Like Hollywood magic might work sometimes. I just want them to make a movie that's actually about the monsters, though. Not like every single one of them so far. Godzilla, I mean, Godzilla, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Skull Island fucking this one okay no Skull Island kind of did need some humans to like tell what was going on the difference was the writing in that was awesome Uh, it was actually pretty good yeah you're right you're right you're right you're right however I still think less humans more monster have you noticed that like as uh, the monsterverse progresses you see the monsters more and more 
Like in, in Godzilla, you rarely saw Godzilla and the fucking whatever the other things are called. The the spider looking things. I forget what they're called. I don't know what they're called. I the, just call the, them the, the alien thingies. Mutals, I think. I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. So, and a lot of people gave Warner Brothers shit for that. Uh, in Skull Island, you actually saw Kong, like, in broad daylight. You saw him a lot. People like that shit. Then Godzilla King of the Monsters happened, and you saw Godzilla, like, a lot. The thing was, there wasn't that many good fight scenes. In this one, there's a shitload of good fight scenes. Like, like I said, the fight scenes are amazing. Special effects are top-notch. Like, I literally mean when I say Oscar-nominated special effects, that it, it's fucking awesome. The only thing is just, just the writing. Like, what I want to know the is, first... what I want to think is, hopefully in the next ones, we might get more monster action and a little less human. I just hope he doesn't have the X anymore. I don't think so. I think he's just going to have it as, like, a, a last resort. Because remember how in the end he just drops it? No, that's because like, he was. they understood each other. After yeah. They were like, yeah, you don't have to kill por ti la madre. Yeah, like, like see, wait, see, look at te digo. Like, um, like, I just think he's going to use that as a last resort when he can't beat someone barehanded. Because think about it. He's the only fucking Titan without powers. He can't fly. Godzilla has fucking uh, his atomic, atomic breath. breath. Even though Mothra died, like, that bitch had a... The silk. The, the silk fucking rope chingadera. Uh, Ghidorah's dead. I'm pretty sure they're gonna fucking make him make a Ghidorah, fool. Well, they have a space Ghidorah, so... Yeah, kind of. It's a lot. It's a lot that they can do with this movie. Like, yeah. this, the Monster Universe. And, honestly, the next one, I just hope it's... I just want the ratio of conversation to go down and more fights. And more Only fights. give humans screen time. To explain. Well, to explain, like, so not that, overly fucking explain with, like, fucking exposition and shit. Because they said so many fucking things in this movie that they really didn't need to say. Like... The story of the guy whose wife died, so he carries her fucking flask, uh, her flask the, in, the, in the, the holster. The they didn't need to say that. They didn't need to have the scene where they said, "Oh, he buys bleach." You know where he is? Like it's just one thing Wait, over another. Now that you remind me of that, is that the guy who comes out in in, in that one sh- other show? Oh, what's the name of the show? For? Oh, it's a Comedy Central. It's like a news thing with oh, what's the name? Trevor. Trevor Noah. Yeah. You know how sometimes he has, like, the little other guy show up? It's a little Asian. I'm, I'm not even sure I can say Asian anymore. I mean, Asian is a fucking... No, but apparently you can't say it. Fuck it! Anyways, not the point. We don't care about political no, correctness no, I know, on I this know. channel. No, no, no. I'm not saying because correct or correct. But you, know, you know who I'm talking about, right? I rarely see the show, but um, I do know who Trevor Noah is. Anyways, I think that's him in that scene, but I still think that, that scene could have gone without... That team didn't have to exist. Yeah. Like, eh, okay. Not only that, but like, did we really need to have the fat kid from Deadpool 2? Like, he served no purpose to the fucking Is that school. who that was? You didn't recognize him? I did not. You fucking moron. I was so wrapped up in the monkey and lizard fight that honestly I wasn't <coughs> really like, oh, yeah, that's Russell. And I'm like, is that fucking Russell? And then when I heard him talking, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's him. Uh, he really did. He he served no fucking purpose to this movie. If other you think than, about other, it, he's the than, actual hero of the movie. Other than being a little bitch. Yeah. If you really if you really want to think about it, he's unfortunately he the wants hero to fuck that girl. I know oh, that. Oh, you part. know, you know, he yeah. wants to smash. Like one hundred percent. Nobody's gonna steal their brother's truck. No one's gonna jump into a random pot going. No one's gonna nowhere. fucking go against a multi-billion-dollar corporation and not expect any ass in the end. Fuck that. But his character didn't need to exist. The the black guy, what's his name? Bruce? No. I call him janitor, man. Well, he is a janitor, but I forget his name. Well, technically, he's an engineer, according to him. Well, what the fuck ever. Maintenance guy. So when I think of maintenance, I think of janitor. Uh, janitor yeah. yeah. Those two didn't need to fucking exist in the movie. The dad. He, this motherfucker's only in like three scenes. He didn't need to exist. And he was no useful. Like, no, he, he, he was no, not. No, he was no, like, what the fuck are you doing here, dude? The first scene I seen, like, I think he's literally only in three scenes. When he's, uh, when he's arguing with his daughter about Godzilla being an enemy. When he's in, like, Hong Kong or something trying to get a hold of her. 
and he yeah. sees all and the text whenever, messages. And then at the end, when whenever, yeah, yeah, that's like the only fucking three times I remember seeing him. Like, the writing was all over. Oh, the fucking pacing too, for I. Oh my god, the pacing goes from like extremely like fucking slow. Uh, no, like okay, yeah, slow. And then, then it, it goes just, to just, fucking yeah. Fast and Furious level speeds. Then it slows back down. Like, you get fucking whiplash from the change of the pace, bro. Like, it's 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 not hard to keep up with, but fuck, does it really take a toll when it really does change? And believe it or not, you know what the thing that pissed me, that really pissed me off was? Mm-hmm. No post credit scene. Dude, I... I hated that. Yeah. I, I fucking hated that. Dude, I skipped all the way, and I was like, where the fuck is my post... However... I blame that on Marvel. I because Marvel spoiled the shit out of us by giving us that little taste of what's coming next. I mean, they're not the first ones to start that shit. No, they're they not. The ones but they're the ones who get, kept feeding us those little snippets. Yeah. And now that we don't have that anymore, it's like we expect it, and when we don't get it, it's like what the fuck. Yeah. Especially with movies like this. Because we got them in every. Did we get them in Godzilla? Yes, I think so. I'm not 100 percent sure. I know we got one for Kong and we got one for uh, King of the Monsters, which the one in King of the Monsters is it was fucking uh, teasing Mechagodzilla. Why the fuck would someone buy the? Oh, oh, maybe now that I think about it, he was buying the head for this. But like, why wasn't the old guy in the movie if he bought it for that? Mm-hmm. Like you know, because mm-hmm. it's it's okay. I uh, I. Uh, then again, he did have three fucking heads, so... I don't know, but, um... Overall, what do you give the movie? One out of ten. Mm, I'm going to go with the seven. And the only reason that is, is because of everything we discussed so far. If if if, if it would have been improved upon... The writing. If the writing would have been improved, just... It would have been way better. Just by a little bit, not a lot. And it would, if it would have gotten rid of shit we didn't need, yeah. like, like all the extra it been a, scenes. It would have been a great I also give it a seven. Like, let's go over the pros. The fight scenes. The special effects. The special effects. Do you count the action as the fight scenes or no? I count them separately because, like, there's a lot of things for me to... Well, not really. In this one, I would say action and fight scenes are the same thing because yeah. that's pretty much what brings the action. Yeah. However, the thing that made it kind of more interesting for me was the fact that they made Kong in this one a little bit more accessible. I hope that fuck crashes. I know who that is and I fucking hate him for that. Like, they made him look more, a little bit more humane. They made him more, yeah. And just because of the little girl. If it weren't for the little girl, he would still be the same angry monkey he's always been. Like, one thing that I I really, like, it really didn't sit well with me was that they really tried to make Godzilla the villain of the monsters. No, I don't think they tried. Well, yeah, they tried. (coughs) In the writing sense, they did. But I think that, like, Godzilla is more of a selfish king. I, I can see that. Because, you know, he's like, I want to be the only one, you know, as soon as I feel something or something that doesn't belong and I don't want it, I'm going to go ape shit and I'm going to fucking... Mis- and Kong, all Kong really wanted was to go home. He doesn't care about... Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck about fighting. He basically fights to defend himself. Yeah. And like the lady said, you know, he's like, Kong bows to no one, so... Do you technically count it as bowing when he, like, dropped the axe? To say, all right, it's over. I think no, because they got rid of the one thing that could kill them both. Because don't forget, Mega Godzilla was wiping the oh, floor. Oh, now that we're talking about that, I was laughing hard whenever Kong got revived and he was talking to the girl. But in the background, you see Godzilla God- getting curb stomped and just shit. Godzilla just he just gets his ass kick like you can see oh home or whatever the fuck yeah. and he just turns and Mecha Godzilla just just, the puto, just like, go on and fuck you seen that scene in Family Guy where Stewie and Brian destroy the bird is the word uh, record oh yeah like when that. They, 
You know, they're actually parodying an actual movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Office Space? Yeah. That's pretty, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty much what you see. Now that you mention You know, the little girl's like, he's not an enemy. Yeah, but he's also, he's you know, he's it to him. Para la puta. He's getting him on the fucking head and just like Chris slapping him. Mesa and the guy who's trying to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, shit. I think that I bongo. That was pretty much... Mecha win uh, Rasa on Godzilla. For real, bro. for like he was fucking him up. Shit, like and I, I feel bad for Godzilla, dude. Fuck. And I feel like if the little girl wouldn't have said anything, Kong would just been like, "All right, bitch, just do what you gotta do. I'm gonna be over here minding my own goddamn business." No. Ultimately, I think it it would have happened like that because that shit, that thing was trained to kill Godzilla, or it was made to kill Godzilla. And if he did kill Godzilla, he I don't think but, he would have seen Kong as no, a threat. No, no, but don't forget, the thing was that the skull, or I don't know how the fuck they explain this, but the skull actually took over. So basically, we saw Ghidorah for about 10 minutes. Yeah, in, in the body of Mega Godzilla. Yeah, I didn't think so. So technically speaking, he's a titan in himself, so if he sees another titan, he's going to go and kill it. So. Honestly, I feel that he would kill Godzilla and then looked at Kong and was like, you know what? You're next, bitch. You just yeah. saw what I did to the lizard. <clears throat> and you're next. So I'm kind of glad they teamed up. But at the same time, I was like... <sighs> like, I wanted to see how far these two were willing to go. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure they were I'll willing it, to go to the death. I'll give it to you. I'm pretty sure Godzilla would have won this one. Because Kong got his ass handed to him in the city. Oh, yeah. Like, I wouldn't say he got his ass kicked in the first one. Like, he got... Uh, I'm pretty sure he got tired because of all the fucking swimming. But that's because Godzilla had a home field advantage. Like, yeah. I told you earlier. And don't put a fucking shark in front of me online and I'll kick his ass. Not only that, but don't forget, apes don't float. Oh, they sink? Yeah. they uh, Apes don't fucking float, dude. I don't know that. Yeah, they hate going... Like, they'll bathe or whatever in shallow water. Yeah. But as soon as they feel like go, it's up here... <coughs> There's no way you're getting any type of primate in water. Okay, I didn't know that. So, yeah, I've, Godzilla had a huge advantage on the first round. Second round, I give it to Kong just because, you know, he did kick ass. Yeah. But the third round... The third one, fucking Kong got his ass, like... Kong got fucking busted, like, He bad, literally bro. had a, a near-death experience. Like, like... He was dying. He was literally yeah. dying. But... Yeah, overall, the movie still gets a 7 for me. Um, again, guys, if you want to watch it and tell us something that we missed or something you think improves upon it, more than welcome to, but I'm staying with the 7. Yeah, me too. You want to talk about the reference to the original one? I don't think you caught it. Uh, which was what? When he sticks the axe in Godzilla's throat. It's a reference to when the old cog stuck a tree in the old Godzilla's mouth. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, like, you gets, know the fucking meme when he's shit. like choking him with yeah. the tree? Yeah, like, I was like, is that a fucking reference? Oh, and for those who don't know, I'm pretty sure I told you this, but that one, the original one, actually has two endings. I still haven't fucking found the one where Godzilla wins. I've been looking for that I shit. I don't know why, but it was really controversial where it got to the point where the studio had to make two endings. where One where Kong wins for the US, and then one for Japan where... Godzilla wins. But was it a Hollywood movie, or was it a, uh, a Japan I'm not, movie? I'm not. Because the... If it was a Japan movie, I consider the Japan version to be canon. But if it was a Hollywood movie, I consider the Hollywood version to mm, be canon. I don't know, but that that's literally the whole... Uh, I, uh, now, you told me this years ago, and I still haven't fucking found that. But it, it's sad how he gets his ass kicked by Kong in that one. Or at least the version I saw. And I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons why they made him win more fights here. Because in the original, Kong beat the fuck out of him. Well, the only reason is because in that one, this one, they're going off the fact that they're titans. and the other one, they're going off the fact that, you know, one's a lizard and the other one's a fucking ape. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the ape's brain is bigger than Godzilla's. Even though Godzilla has two brains, which is one in his head and one, like, between his ass and... Did they turn a fucking vacuum? I'm not sure. But, yeah, anyways, Solid 7, Solid 7. Um, like I said, if the writing was any better, 
Because that's the main fucking issue with me. It's the writing. Yeah. And everything was just too convenient. Yeah. Like the scene whenever um, Kong puts the, the axe in the, yeah, in it's, the slot. It's, it's too convenient. Like, not, not only is it... Okay. I'm saying it's too convenient because... The author is about to fucking die, and as soon as he gets bitten by that battle, whatever the fuck that thing is, Godzilla's beam comes in and saves him. Like, really? How did you know exactly where to fucking shoot that beam? That one I can probably explain by the fact that they have, like, a psychic link. Because <clears throat> that axe, is a, I think that axe is actually made from one it's, of... It's one of the scales from Godzilla's race, yeah. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's like a psycho... Or like a psycho... A psychic link... But other than that, I that, can't explain a, that's it. That's a far stretch. Yeah, that, other than that, I can't explain it. But I feel that that's probably it. But yeah, it was too... Like, a lot of things out there are too convenient. Like This has to happen for this to happen. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, another thing. It's a multi-billion dollar company. Why the fuck is there no security? Like, you would think they have security guards, even if the fucking place is still burnt to shit and torn down. Oh, yeah, they walked in there like they owned the place. I mean, they kind of they technically snuck in through some rubble, but still, fool. There have to be <coughs> security guards everywhere if it's a multi-million dollar company. Like, yeah. there's no way a chubby kid, the skinny girl, and the maintenance guy are going to be able to sneak in. Nah, fuck that. Not only that, sneak into one of the pods... They took them all the way to fucking Tokyo. What was it? No, Hong Kong. Uh, was it like from Florida or some shit? Yeah. You mean to tell me that you can't register other life force in that shit? I don't know. Uh, that, that's, yeah, that's, know. that's why I'm sticking to my rating. Dude. There's a lot of holes and, and things. Yeah. And there's just so many subplots. Bro. Yeah. There's way too many subplots. But, um, I mean, I, I want to say that they put those subplots there for a reason. But I don't think we're like, going to know that. Maybe they until... might flesh them out in future movies. Maybe, but, but I, still... I don't think so, though. I don't know. Like, now that we got this one, and there's no post credit scene, there's no guarantee we're going to get another MonsterVerse movie. But if we do, which one would you like to see? Or what would you like to see in the movie? A full out war. I feel that that's gonna be the very last of the MonsterVerse movies. I was thinking about that, but I mean, how much more can you push it, dude? The two biggest money earners in this universe are Kong and Zilla. Ghidorah's one of them, but not really. Uh, uh, over the years, we all know who's gonna win. Uh, we got Godzilla, but still, for like, like, what's the point? I was going to say maybe give us one more movie with like a classic Godzilla enemy. Someone like Gigan. Uh, does Rodan... No, Rodan doesn't die, right? No, he doesn't die. He gets stabbed by Mothra, but he doesn't die. Yeah, no, because at the end, he bows to Godzilla. And he has that fucking wound right there. So, no. Uh, maybe he could turn on him. Uh, Gigan. Um, Rodan. Destroyer, Space Godzilla. We already got Mecha Godzilla, so he's I would want to see. I want to see maybe that. What Space Godzilla? Yeah. I want to see either that or Destroyer, fool. Because Destroyer has that fucking horn that shoots like a beam or some shit. And then after that, we might get Mecha Ghidorah, which we, or we probably could, because we just got a Mech and this one, mm-hmm. why the fuck make the the next main villain another Mac? It's just gonna be like trying to continue with how yeah. the other one left off. Yeah, you're right. And then after that, we could probably have a Fallout War, which will be the last one. I can see that. But yeah. hey, we're not fucking writers. Or at least we're not Hollywood writers. We're not executives. We're just two fat Mexicans Who giving won? our thoughts. Yeah. So yeah. You know, I, I love Godzilla. Uh, I don't say I wouldn't say I love Kong's movies, but I, I could say I'm a fan. I just hope they fix the whole human issue. I, I really do. That that would be the thing that needs to be fixed to me. So yeah, that's my parting moment. I think that's pretty much. 
I think that's pretty much all we gotta say. Yeah. I honestly thought this review was gonna be a little more longer, but not really. We really said all we needed to say, so. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you in enjoy, the next one. Enjoy, fuckers. You better fucking enjoy. You know, we got like eight new subscribers. Yeah, I noticed that. I wonder if the Russians. Hey, long live Mother Russia. Let's get fucked up on vodka. And the machine. And cocaine. No, I'll just do the coke. I'll see you fuckers later.